What's up, everyone? How y'all doing? So, yeah, it's been a while, and I've uh, kind of made a move. I'm actually in a very different place. I'm in a place I've never been to ever before in my life, and uh, I'll talk about it later. I, it's, I can't share at the moment, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later, and there's a whole story behind it, a whole interesting story, and there's um, some learning points that uh, I think anyone, a lot of people can take from and get some insp inspiration and motivation and learn things from it, which I'll, I guess I'll share it later um, when the situation kind of plays out and it's over because it's actually a pretty long story but uh um i'm i feel great I, i've been here where i am for for a little while and uh, it feels really really great to to be here because i've i've been in i've been in a lot of uh, really foreign places and, and places that are very uh unusual even to me but still great still awesome and i've had just such a great time in being in these places and it's been a lot of fun and you know it's not even over really but uh you know we're here now so <laughs> uh in this video i want to talk about manifestation and i want to talk about some of the rules of manifestation how manifestation works and uh how to make it more powerful um what ways is manifestation made weaker and you know it's basically talking about uh how to make manifestation just a really powerful thing and uh yeah so um let's start by talking about um the conscious and subconscious reality um it's well known that uh your consciousness is quite weak in compared to your subconsciousness so uh based on that you know your consciousness is like five percent five ten percent at the most of of like your 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 power of you know what you pay attention to and um what you internalize so it's a very small uh, percentage of, of, of all of it. And your subconscious is like 90%, 90 plus percent. So uh, we are pretty much living on subconscious programs. So pretty much everything that we do throughout a day, 90% of what we do throughout, a, throughout our day is based on our subconscious programs. The subconscious is just like pretty much a storehouse of uh, all of our experiences. We're using those experiences to Re recycle uh, we're recycling those experiences and using them to function throughout our day so if we're using that like 100% we're not really creating anything new so that's a form of manifestation right there when you just stay within your subconscious and stay just following those same programs instead of actively making the changes yourself and actively trying to make things different which is uh, your you know conscious focus so that's that's a big part of uh, manifestation there um, taking control of that or just even being aware of it you know the first step to changing anything is your awareness of it to, to even know that it's going on and uh, so let's go to the mind so with the mind uh, we're constantly thinking things and uh, a lot of a lot of what you think about a lot of your thoughts do not belong to you they're not your thoughts you know think about um, have you, I know it's not just me, have you ever just had an argument with somebody in your mind that you've had like a long time ago and you're trying to relive that argument and you know, you know it's, it's not productive, it's not helping anything, it's not doing anything for you, but you, you know, you're getting your, you're getting your feelings right in that moment and you keep doing that argument and you know, sometimes you do the argument over and over and over and over and in that case you're just, just reinforcing uh, like some negative, some negative subconscious program, you're constantly making your reality that way and that's a form of manifestation so it you know it's really important to take control of that take control of your thoughts and understand that your thoughts are not your thoughts you know you have you, you know, sometimes you may have like some ugly thoughts or some thoughts that you, you don't like and you're like oh that you know where does thought come from and you know it's it's not your thought it's it's not your thought it's some information that came to you but what is yours is how you how you react to that thought so uh, that's a big part of uh, of manifestation is your reaction. You know, a lot of what happens, a lot of things that, a lot of our reality that we have uh, every day is, you know, we don't have that much control over because you know things happen to us. But what you do have like a great degree of control over is how you react to those things. How you react to those things is what's being reflected back out into the universe, uh, back out into into the world, 
and this is what uh, it, what comes back to you and what's recycled back to you. This is um, a form of manifestation here. So uh, taking control of your thoughts and, and really um, controlling your, your thoughts. And you know, your thoughts, some people think that thoughts aren't a real thing, but thoughts are a very real thing. And uh, uh, thoughts escape out of our heads every day and go out into the world and go out into the universe and entangle with uh, like thoughts or like energetic uh, entities and they become more powerful and when they when they when they combine and they they entangle however you want to put that um, it creates uh, it creates the reality and you know you're, you're getting back your your karma on uh, even on your thoughts even though even though you know it's, you know it's your reaction and that your reaction is like one half and you know it actually happening to you is like one half but you can you can all the way make that a good thing by controlling your reaction of course you know even in the most dire and worst of circumstances so you know you, you think of the mind as like a transmitter transmitting energy out out into everywhere and the energy that you're transmitting is 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 entangling with light like energy and creating it's intensifying when it when it gets to that like energy so what kind of energy are you putting out and uh, you know don't just don't take your thoughts for granted and don't try to watch what you let escapes from your from your your head because it's really important isn't your, your head is not that not as much of a safe place as you think it is so that's that's manifestation that's important so now uh, I want to talk about uh, these last two forms of manifestation which are I guess the main thing that I want to focus on here and uh, these last two things uh, and we, we have a great degree of control over these and um, uh, the two things that I'm going to talk about now are written word like making like making a journal a journal of um of a journal of of uh what you want to be what you want to be you can make like your manifestation journal um and this carries a lot of power your, your written words carry lots of power and they're you're making a story you're creating yourself and um you know while you're doing that um, my my advice or what i do is you know, when you write those words down, you speak those words out as you write them down. If you want to get loud, get as loud as you can. Make it as, make it as, as powerful and as emotionally, uh, emotionally charged as you need it to be because it's going to give it more manifestation power. It's going to make it more real. And, of course, you got to be all the way honest and confident with yourself because if you put out some unconfident manifestation power, um, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be okay. It's going to be manifestation power, but it's not going to be that confident. It's going to be weaker. So uh, you want to put all as much power of intention as you can, and um, you know this stuff is very, very real. Now, if if you're if you're into the um, divinity, div divination methods, and you know you know about like uh, things that are uh, prophesized and through symbolism and energy of symbolism, for example, uh, a great example, tarot, uh, which you, you you get those answers by putting your intention out first, and then you get the symbolism, and you can you can read through the symbolism. So you know it's a very real thing. So sometimes you need like a like something real that you're connected to to, to realize that it's very very real. So uh, you know when you you know the, the written word, written word is a very powerful way of, to manifest. And the more you do it, and the more powerfully you do it, the more honest you you are when you do it, and uh, the, the the more uh, confident you are in what you do. That's what's going to come back to you. You're going to come back with some full fledged uh, manifestation. If you if you put out some shallow stuff. You probably gonna get something shallow back, uh, or not, or something not as powerful as you would have hoped it to be. It's kind of, it's kind of all on you with with this and how much energy you put into it. And uh, when you write your words, you do it intensely. You put your passion into it, and you you really put your thoughts and your heart into what you're doing. And don't halfway do something. If you're gonna do it, go all, go all in. So, um, also another thing with your manifestation uh, uh, diary or book. I'll show you my I'll show you my manifestation diary, my manifestation book. So uh, this is this is mine. It's an actual book. It's an actual book, and I'm gonna uh, show you some pages in it. So here, this is my book, and uh, just like I have page after page after page of uh, just written manifestation. And um, so let me tell you how to manifest, how to write how to write the stuff in your manifestation uh, diary or, or book. So. Uh, with the book, you don't want to just choose any book. You don't want to just go to like some store and buy some cheap notebook. Um, you want to have a book that um, has a lot of that has a lot of value to you. It, you know, it could be value, it could be money, value could be uh, sentimental value. Like uh, maybe uh, someone really special gave you that book, and um, you're never gonna let it go. So 
you know, the, you know, value value is something that we make and we agree upon. Um, you know, we could we could say something's worth worth zero and agree upon that it'll be zero, and then we could say something's worth like some ridiculous sum of ridiculously ridiculous ridiculously large sum of money or sum of worth, and uh, you know, it will be right whether if we agreed it was zero or if we agreed that the price was huge, we it, it will be right because we agreed on it, we manifested that, we created that reality, we agreed upon it, and so it was. So that was that was our manifestation with the word. So my whole point in talking about that is, uh, like, you, when you choose a book, you know, if, if you can get a get the most expensive book you can you can get, and you know that's going to carry power within itself. Get a book made of gold if you if you got if you got a currency like that where you can get a book made of gold for your manifestation book, you do that. But money isn't everything. You could use sentimental value. Sometimes sentiment sentimental value is is worth billions billions and trillions of, uh, of dollars or whatever currency you use and if that's the case then boom you have your your manifestation journal is very very powerful and it's uh it's it's very very valuable based on the value of you know what it means to you and neither one of those is any more than the other whether we're talking currency or we're talking you know sentimental and uh so when when you're you're writing when you're writing in it, um, what do you want to write? Like how do you write it? How do you write what you, what you want? So of course you you're writing your your what you what you hope to manifest or what you're trying to manifest. And you know uh, again you don't you don't write it as wishes or, or 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 asking asking for things to be. You you write it down as as if you know you you are a uh, co-creator. You know because you are a co-creator. You know uh, there's we're we're a lot of gods out here. And uh, the thing about co-creating is that there's, you know, you have to realize that there are lots of other co-creators. But uh, also another thing to realize that a lot of co-creators are not even using their power. They're not even aware that they have have their power, and you know, a lot, a lot of their power is just wasted. So, uh, so like, uh, so with uh, my suggestion, and it's just my thought. Uh, I would like to hear what you what you think and. You know how you do this uh, in the in the comment section below. I can learn something from it, if you will, please. Uh, but um, my way of doing it is to I tell the universe what to do. I tell it what to do because I, I'm a god. I'm a co-creator, and I, I have I have power, and I'm in, um, I don't utilize any significant amount of potential of the power that I have. So I I realize that I have like this tremendous power, and I use that, and I think. You should too. You should have realized that your power is way larger, way way more huge than than you believe it to be. And once you st uh, once you start doing that, once you do that, um, you're gonna have more power just through your power of intention. So um, write things down as if you know, make like tell the universe what to do. Or um, some people say write down the things as if they have already happened. Now, what I what I don't think people should do, but it's just my opinion. It's not not necessarily the right the right thing or the wrong thing. Is uh, some people ask and they like ask a higher power, like you know, and they beg and all this and things like this. And I I don't like that. I, I don't like begging, and that's like what I ha I'm against with with people with uh with, with prayer, because prayer is like a, a form of that. And, and what I think it kind of relinquishes your power, um, you know, and you know if we go and. <laughs> To, to deeper uh, you know thought on like what this means um, like of course we we all know that you know there's something bigger than us and you know but we also have responsibilities here that of things that we have to do every day and that I don't I don't really see the point in like you know focusing on you know someone else you know someone else's job like someone has a is a higher power with the, with the, a job they're gonna do their job they they are higher power for a reason so uh, it's to me, it's just way more important to focus on the full power that you have and exercise that, and you know, let the let let your let your God or let your your universe do its job. So that's my thoughts on that, in terms of in terms of prayer and that type of thing, and why it, it's not really my thing. So uh, lastly, what I'll talk about here is the power of spoken word, and spoken word. I think it carries just as much power as written word, spoken word. Uh, I guess it depends on the situation. But uh, spoken word is extremely powerful. It's more powerful to me than a lot of things, even even actual action, even actually doing things, which, you know, of course, that's most powerful, actually taking action, because taking, taking action is most powerful. But um, 
what what we neglect to use to its fullest extent is is uh like we have the ability to use words all the time all the time like all day all day all the time constantly speaking out words constantly constant manifestation power constantly putting this energy out into the universe telling the universe to to make this happen and to and to do this and impose our will and uh now with 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 power of words um like what brought this idea this concept to me or made made it blossom within my mind uh one of my mentors uh billy carson um forbidden knowledge um, he brought something up that I already kind of knew, but it really just uh, resonated with me and just made me really uh, think into it to myself. And uh, he basically talked about how words have, that words, words that we speak, that I'm speaking right now, they, have, they carry cymatic frequencies. And uh, these, you know, the, the words, the vibration, the ripples of space time, they go out from my mouth, and they go out to, to all around reality, all throughout the world, throughout the universe. And they're interacting with like energies and those energies grow and they um, resonate with one another and they create our reality and it comes back to us. You know, you, you think of it in a form of karma or uh, manifestation, you know, yeah, that, that type of way. And, you know, it's a very beautiful thing when you start thinking about it like in scientific terms of how it works. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of uh, what we what we try to like frame as like um, mystical spiritual religions is a lot of times the science that's undiscovered science. I, I think a lot of it. But um, yeah, the power of spoken word is really important and powerful because you can do it all the time, anytime, and you can do it with full conviction no matter where you are. I guess the issue with that is maybe you're you're out in public somewhere and you're concerned about um, people around you. And I wouldn't concern myself too much about that unless you're in some situation where you could you could you know disrupt the harmony or something. But, uh, but with that, I wouldn't care about someone watching you because um, only certain types of people, people, people are going to watch you, but they're going to interpret you in different ways. Uh, one person may watch you and say, wow, this person is so, so confident. This person has it all figured out. And the next person watching you may think this person is a, a psycho or this person, ain't, there's nothing going to come out of that. Why, why are they even doing that? Why are they making themselves look silly? And I just gave you two people. Now, you know, one one was extremely optimistic and positive. And uh, what about the other one? What what was he? Hmm. I'll let you um you decide on what what that person is. And uh, you you get my point with this, right? So I, I wouldn't worry about this too much. I would focus my attention, my energy on spoken words and the manifestation power of it, and not get sidetracked and uh, and, and and distracted by by you know someone that's you know blocking you. And that's a lot of what's important. In, in reality, um, kind of getting rid of these things that don't really move anything forward. So, uh, is that it? Is that it? Is that everything? Actually, what I want to talk about, uh, lastly, but um, not not least importantly, is that um, there's rules to manifestation. There are rules to manifestation. And, you know, this is my opinion, of course, but I think some real powerful stuff is why I'm talking about it. But um, there's rules to manifestation. For example, um, there's you have to understand that there's a lot of there's they say there's eight billion people in on the planet, and they're all manifesting, manifesting. Maybe not all. It could be just two, two billion that are actually manifesting. But still, you have a lot of uh, manifest, manifestative uh, competitors. So you have to keep that in mind also. And um, we're all one anyway. There's no there's no separation. Uh, ultimately. You want to manifest something that has a greater good for everyone, not just for yourself. You know, if, if you're going to do, if you're going to manifest for yourself, make sure that uh, what you do for yourself has carry some greater good for for everyone. And I think that's like one one law of the universe, the law of one that there's no separation. And uh, another uh, law of of the universe is that you know the karma. Karma is very real, and you know there's uh, people out here doing um, black magic. You know, with like what I call like negative manifestation, you know, we call it black magic, magic. They're, um, they're making hexes, they're ca casting spells, and that can work. You can manifest that way, but uh, the laws of the universe and karma are very real. Karma is very real. So you have to keep that in mind, and uh, when you do your manifestation, um, uh, think about how self selfish your manifestation is, and um, how will that work within a whole bigger scheme of things in the universe and, and everything. So you want to be careful on that. And uh, also um, be careful about the big picture uh, effect of your manifestation. You just talked about black magic, you know, someone doing black black magic. Ultimately, 
you know, like, but even if you're not using black magic, magic which is uh, obviously negative and obviously not productive and obviously not going to come back to you in any real good way. I mean, you might you might feel good in, in the short run, but you know, ultimately, it's not going to be be what you what you what you wish you did. But uh, but uh, but with but lastly, lastly, and I'll just wrap the video up here. Um, you know, you want to look into what what you're manifesting, even if you think it's positive. You, you want to look at the implications of your your positive manifestation. Could it turn into something something ugly, or something um, that that you didn't want to turn into? So a lot of thought and effort um, needs to be uh, put into uh, manifestation. And uh, if, if you don't put thought and thought and a lot of thought and effort into it, or put enough thought and effort into it, then uh, you're gonna get like some uh, some some manifestation that. It isn't you know it might be good it might be what you wanted but it may not be exactly and you're like hey I didn't I didn't ask for this exactly and I think in that case it's because you didn't really understand what you was asking for you didn't understand the long-term bigger effects and implications and uh, cause and effect that it was gonna give you you don't know you don't know all the loopholes that the that the manifestation had to go through in order to get to get the manifestation back to you that you asked for and when you get it back is probably not going to be exactly the, what you asked for because it had to go through a bunch of channels because nothing works just in, in a just straight linear uh, one way in and one way back like a mirror it's a lot of it gets to go through a lot of things so that's my video on manifestation <laughs> I, I hope you learn something I hope it's open your mind and uh, if, if I miss something or if something's a little bit off or you, you know you, you you have some insight for me please drop it in the comment section below uh, thank you so much you all I, I love you and you know just you know life is good and you know I'm I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I, I have a story to tell you and it's, it's just so it's so interesting and and just it's full of drama it's intense but I want to share it because I think a lot of people can can learn from it even though uh, there was it's 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 a little bit some pain in there but um, I'm gonna share it with y'all uh, later I hope hopefully Anyways, I love you all again. You take care of yourself and, you know, be good. Be well. I wish you all the best. I love you. I'm gone.